How's it going folks, John from Harkis Audio and DIY Punk Rock here um, with the release of Easy Drawer 3 today I just wanted to make a quick video on how to move your MIDI files if you've purchased any from DIY Punk Rock from Easy Drummer 2 and uh, Easy Drummer 3 so a pretty straightforward um, thing to do with a few simple steps um, Easy Drummer 3 does not overwrite Easy Drummer 2 so they're still two separate virtual instruments so you should still find your uh, MIDI packs inside of Easy Drummer 2. So what we're going to do is, uh, and this will work in any DAW, is we're going to open up a couple of instrument tracks um, just so we can open up Easy Drummer 3 and Easy Drummer 2 at the same time. So and the first track I'm just going to open up um, an instance of uh, the new Easy Drummer 3, which looks super cool and I'm looking forward to getting in about it. So we've got Easy Drummer 3 open, uh, and then just going to open up the old Easy Drummer 2 also here, so Easy Drummer. Um, <clears throat> now if you've installed any packs previously, you'll know they'll be in the browser over here under user libraries. Um, so, for instance here I've got the Skate Punk pack and the Ultimate Punk Homotic Hardcore one. So say you've got Ultimate Punk Homotic Hardcore, what you want to do is uh, right click on it and hit Open in Explorer and that'll bring you up to all the grooves um, inside of the actual folder so you're basically looking for this folder to copy and paste but what I'm going to do is I need to get to the root folder so I'm just going to head up one so I find where this was installed DIY Punk Amoric Hardcore and I'm just going to copy it so it's now copied on our clipboard uh, if I then return to uh, Pro Tools or whatever DAW you're in and open up Easy Drummer 3 we're just going to go over to the Grooves tab inside of that um, and you will find at the bottom that there is a library that says User Libraries so what you want to do is you want to just click on that and then open in Explorer and obviously we've copied and pasted from Easy Drummer 2 the pack that we want to move in Easy Drummer 3 so I'm just going to right click and hit Paste uh, and that will move over the Ultimate Punk and Melodic Hardcore pack um, the same would be done with Skate Punk or Expansion um, and then you'll see a little dot next to this um, so you want to click on that again and what you want to do is go down to this unsynced files found and hit sync file changes uh, and easy draw 3 will start finding those files uh, and then once it's done that you can click on there and then you will find the the MIDI folder over in this uh, browser folder section where it will start opening up in the next few tabs and all your grooves and fills will be there from before you can see now that they kind of show you a kind of outline of what the groove is but they still all uh, drag and drop exactly the same and um, this is basically anybody who has superior drummer 3 will be used to this um, interface it's pretty much exactly the same so yeah that's how you how you go about it um, if you've got skate punk you'd be in easy drummer 2 right click down there open an explorer you want to go up one to find the root folder copy it then we're back to Easy Drummer 3, we're going to the Grooves tab, User MIDI, open an Explorer, paste it in there. So now we've got Skate Punk in there, but to obviously finish off the task you need to hit Sync File Changes. And once it's synced the folder, it will also show up ready to rock. Uh, so that's a simple way of moving them over. Um, obviously we're a third party Groove company, so there's no install uh, for these things. So unfortunately they don't move over by themselves. But uh, yeah, hopefully with them um, easy steps, uh, you'll get it going. Thanks very much. Looking forward to seeing, seeing some of the beats in Easy Drummer 3 and hope it's all good. Catch you in a bit. Cheers.